Well, let's welcome our drivers to the second part of the press conference. We've got Jean-Eric Vern from uh, DS to Cheetah. If you guys want to make your way down, we've got Oliver Rowland from Nissan Edams, Jose Maria Lopez from Jox Dragon, and Mitch Evans from Panasonic Jaguar Racing. So, uh, a very good afternoon to all our drivers. And uh, we will start with Jean-Eric Vert. Welcome back to Paris for the for the e pre back in your homeland. How are preparations going for the race? Well, uh, first of all, uh, welcome everyone. It uh, feels amazing to be back in Paris, uh, my hometown, uh, where I grew up. And uh, yeah, preparation has been doing well, you know. Same as uh, exactly all the other races. It's not because it's probably the most important race for us that uh, we do anything different. Um, so yeah, it went well, you know, uh, same as usual, simulator and, uh, you know, working with the engineers and, and that's it really. And how, a great win for you in Sanya, Lotterer was uh, on the podium last time out, so the team's championship is looking good. How do you look at the, the driver's championship from your point of view? Well, I think it's going to be um, very up and down until uh, the end of the season. It will just be a question of, you know, being there in, in the last day of that uh, championship. I don't believe anyone will uh, take a big lead. Uh, I don't believe somebody can win the championship on Saturday in New York. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm seventh in the ranking, only 11 points behind. You know, one win here in Paris and I can be leading the championship. Uh, I mean, I don't know how many drivers can actually technically be leading the championship at the end of uh, tomorrow. So I'm not very concerned about the position uh, where I am. I'm just, uh, you know, there are still many more races, many more points to take. And it's just going to be a question of uh, scoring points as soon as you can. Uh, it's, you know, for some reason this year it's been uh, very complicated, not only for me, but for all the drivers, not a single driver that had a, a perfect season. Everybody can look back and say, wow, we lost so many points here and there. Um, so, you know, it's it's all the same for us. It's a very difficult year. Um, but now I think it's, uh, you know, it's kind of money time. We cannot afford any more mistakes. And uh, we need to take the points where they are. If it's a fifth place, it's a fifth place. If you can, uh, if I can go for a win, well, I'm definitely going to go for that one. Uh, but, um, yeah, it's important to score points. Okay, thank you. Best of luck for the weekend. Uh, Jose, um, a very busy race in Rome, but there are a lot of positives that both Dragon cars were into the into Super Bowl. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Um, yeah, it was um, a positive and frustrating weekend for us because when you are um, when you have the possibility to start from second row and then you end up with no points, is it's hard to take. Um, yeah, it was a hard race for us. And I, I start in the start we had a problem on the system and then breaking issues on the first uh, two laps. So yeah, the world was was falling apart, you know, uh, very soon on the race. Um, but yeah, I mean, we have the pace, so that's that's important. We we try to to repeat here. We know that being in Group Four in quality it helps, even if uh, yeah, in the past maybe Paris is not is not a place where. There was a big, a big difference. I think Jeb was in pole last year, even in, in uh, doing the qualifying in Group One. So, uh, yeah, a new race, new, new, new expectation. You know, you start from scratch. Um, good preparation as always. So we're really looking forward to to have a, a good result. I think you know, for the team, uh, mechanics, everybody, everybody involved in the team, has been has been working hard. So uh, you feel that they they need you know the result for 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 motivate them. So we we really hope he. If he, that is here, if he's not here, we will keep trying until the end of the year. Cool. Best of luck for the weekend. Right. Uh, Oliver, turning to you. Um, w your relationship with Sebastian, is how much has he helped you within the team? Did you call him like a, a big brother figure at one point, or have I made that up? Yeah, I suppose you're right. At some point, um, when I first arrived, I didn't know him, and I didn't know what to expect. I mean, you see from the outside, but... Uh, but it was quite clear, obviously, I arrived very late, so I didn't understand anything, and I was coming into a championship, you know, with you know, extremely high level in terms of drivers. Um, and I think, you know, from his side, he knew how important it was to have two people pushing the team so that the whole car and team develop in um, one way. So, yeah, since I've joined, you know, he's been a you know, massive help, especially in the, the first three races when I was struggling. You know, I, I was struggling to just put everything together a little bit. You know, all the key ingredients were there. 
um, and he just helped me understand everything, you know, and what I needed. And also, you see the way he works with the team, you know, it's incredible. So, so yeah, big thanks to him, and, and hopefully, you know, I can continue continue my recent performance. Yeah, you've had a, a pole position, led a couple of races. Are you surprised at how well you've performed, or are you like, yeah, obviously, I'm going to be great? Yeah, of course, you know. <laughs> I was uh, I wasn't expecting to be uh, you know this close you know I think in terms of like ultimate lap time performance if you look at free practice and things like that I'm always in you know the top four for the last four races so you know that's been quite a shock I didn't really expect that you know I expected you know uh, you know my targets were to try and be in Super Bowl by the end of the year and and you know see if I can push for a podium um, obviously I've already achieved that so they move on. Um, but yeah, you know, I just keep working hard, keep learning every day and, and you know, learning new stuff from everyone. Um, you know, I've been quite unfortunate at times as well, like most people have this season. Um, but, you know, it's just important to put everything together. Rome, I got a little bit ahead of myself and hit the wall in qualifying, so that, that cost me sort of maybe a better result. Um, but let's see, just uh, keep calm and, and try and put everything together and, and have a good weekend. Cool, best of luck. Uh, and Mitch, finally turning to you. Um, I think you won the race in Rome last time out. What, uh, it y felt you like... sure? Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure. <laughs> but uh, there, there was something about some suspension or something, wasn't there? But uh, there was, um, it seemed like such a big flip around in terms of, you know, coming into Rome. It was, it felt like a difficult time to be part of the team. And now it feels like the best time to be part of the team over one weekend. Yeah, I mean, it's not one thing that's, that's the cause of that. Um, but Senya was tough for us, you know, we on the second, uh, second to last on the grid. Nelson was last, I was second to last, it was, it was horrible. So um, yeah, we, we've changed a lot of things since, well, fr from, from Sanya to Rome. Um, maybe went down the wrong direction in a few things. Um, and it doesn't, it's not so obvious to, uh, in the data and, and stuff for it to go, okay, this is, this is the wrong thing to do. So yeah, we, um, we changed a lot of things and, and obviously that was the right, right direction. We're hoping it was not just a, a one-off and a Rome specialty. Uh, but yeah, I felt comfortable from the get-go in Rome and, and I didn't have that since, uh, since Marrakesh. So um, yeah, we were, we were quick in, in Marrakesh and also in, in Saudi, but uh, and we, we sort of lost the sweet spot of the car. So we've, we've, we're hoping we've obviously got that back and uh, we'll be you know, fighting the front more, more often. So it really was that quick a turnaround. It was free practice one in Rome. You were like, oh, okay, this is going to be good. Yeah, obviously a, th a few things stood out after after Sanya that were um, definitely Hanunas uh, in, in in quali and also in the race, but mainly in quali trim, and uh, it was making our life very difficult. So obviously we went into the room hoping that things would be better, but we obviously didn't expect it to be that much better. And uh, yeah, it was it was a great great feeling because it came at a really really tough time and a, a critical time for the team. Obviously, with um, Nelson being replaced, and um, yeah, it was just it was not going as as expected. So, yeah, it's been a tough couple of seasons, but it's it's really nice to reward reward everyone with a with a nice victory. Great. Well, congratulations.